WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the uh, 10, 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. We're looking at the Dow up 32 points. It hasn't been able to break to a new recovery high or actually be an all-time high. Uh, it's struggling a little bit because it has, uh, in within the Dow, you've got a couple of stocks that are very weak and a couple of stocks that are very strong, so it's just kind of in the middle. But look at the S&P. The S&P is trying to tackle the, and it's just done that, 511.06 five, was the all-time high. Uh, six sessions ago, today it went to 5116.47, trying to tackle this rising Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. So, and it's a leg B in the weekly chart. Wow, that is positive. Leg D in the monthly chart. Uh, looking at the uh, QQQ, same thing, broke to a new all time high, trading at 442.27. And that is a very strong action. Uh, we're looking at leg C in the weekly and only a leg B in the monthly. We're looking at the IWM, that's the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 trading at 205.84. Now it's up 213. It was lagging a little bit before. Now it's coming on strong. And you can see that it's broken out on a closing basis. When you break this, this rectangle, you break the arch highs and close above it for two out of three weeks. And that was uh, two out of three months in this case. This is now the fourth month. <clears throat> it's going to try for that. That is a big break to the upside. And that says now you've got tremendous support at 195. And uh, it's looking good. Well, let's go to gold. Gold also started to expand. Uh, break to, oh, now it's up 24, 2078. It took out, whoops, that high that was uh, on the um, 1st of February at 2083.2. It's gone to uh, 2074. It hasn't quite broken that yet. But that would be your target on the left side. This is a very good week. It's done it before, but it hasn't closed the week with a candle like this before. It always fails. So this is going to be important. Uh, looking at the dollar, the dollar actually this is quite interesting because the dollar is down just 19 ticks at 103.94, stuck in this little mid-range above the 200 period moving average. And let's go to bonds. I didn't do bonds at all in my show, the Target Initials Hour, a few moments ago. I'll do it in this coming hour because I'm going to be sitting in for Steve Rhodes' hour. I can't sit in for Steve Rhodes, but I'll sit in for his hour. Leg B in the, uh, oh, finally, you've got yourself a nice strong move up 23, 30 seconds in the, in the bonds. So this is, this is kind of a very interesting start to the month. Breaking out to the upside in bonds. So yields are coming down. And you've got gold moving higher. Huh, we'll be watching this. I'll be back for, for the next hour. Stay tuned, and my show is usually the Tiger Technician's Hour. So I'll be doing this.